In a series like Spy Family, we've seen how Lloyd Forger, the secret agent known as Twilight, has been a man who's done the impossible multiple times over while on his missions. Keeping his cover is Lloyd Forger, who works at the hospital and has a daughter enrolled at a prestigious school, all while taking on spy missions when people least expect him to do so. However, Lloyd is not Superman, and at some point in time, his luck is bound to run out, and in today's video, I plan to tell you about the moment where Lloyd's luck did run out and how it actually ended up being Anya who ended up saving his life. Now, I know some of you guys might be going, wait, what scenario in the world could there possibly be where Anya ends up saving Lloyd's life and this must be a gag moment, which is often the case with Anya? Well, much to your surprise, this is not the case here. Despite the fact that Spy Family gets the reputation of being a wholesome series, this was a legitimate life or death situation where Anya saved Lloyd's life. In fact, had Anya not stepped in, in the way that she did, Lloyd would have actually died and he would have died a gruesome death. That's right, the lovable telepath Anya who makes all the trolling smile faces at Damon actually saved the world's number one spy from dying that gruesome death. So you might be wondering what exactly happened here. Well, after Lloyd takes Anya and Yor to the pet shops, looking for a dog for Anya. We actually learned that Lloyd's been given a separate mission here, one where he'll have to act with the utmost sense of urgency because if he fails to carry out the mission, it will result in certain war between the two countries, which will mean that Operation Strix was for absolutely nothing. The plot included assassination of a top diplomat and the method being deployed to make this reality was to use dogs like Bond Forger to carry out bombs, which see the dogs carry bombs that would be exploded, killing the dogs along with anyone caught inside the blast radius, which I've covered the greatest significance of this in my video Bond Forger Explained, but this wasn't the only plot that they had in mind here. The terrorists also had an extremely powerful bomb that was set to go off to cause mass destruction and a wide-scale loss of human life that the terrorist leader referred to it as being collateral damage, which in turn would plunge the two countries into a full blown out war where there would be no room for peace talks. While Anya is interacting with Bond Forger, she reads the mind of the lovable canine who can see glimpses into the future and Anya sees the face of the deceased Lloyd Forger who had been blown up in the process of the explosion. By this point in time, Lloyd had already gone off and accepted the mission and began hunting down the different terrorists in the area by appearing as if he had a bad case of the runs and needed to use the toilet, which hilariously makes Yor think that it's her bad skills as a housewife that did all this to him. Anya and Bond end up racing against time to not only track down Lloyd, but also try to prevent his death. The result of Anya's efforts initially ends up with her being kidnapped by the terrorists and being protected by Bond Forger who grabs Anya by the jacket with his teeth and he whisks her away to safety. For Bond, it was more than preventing Anya from dying. It's about keeping the future family of the Forger family whole by preventing Lloyd's death. When the two of them end up being attacked by terrorists, Yor shows up like a demon and takes out the terrorists in single attacks and gives a death glare from hell that sends the other terrorists running for his life. When Anya then sees a future timeline where it's she who discovers Lloyd's body, broken and busted and bloodied, all underneath the debris caused by the explosion where Anya's crying, saying the name Papa, it makes Anya rush to find Lloyd to prevent his death, but in typical Anya fashion, when she gets to the building where Lloyd is confirmed to be ready to die, she can't tell the time on the clock and needs help reading the time on the clock to see how much time she has before Lloyd's life ends up ending. Upon finally entering into the building, Anya reads the mind of the terrorists and learns that the bomb is booby trapped to go off whenever someone opens the door to the hideout and it will trigger a mass scale explosion. Anya and Bond quickly make their way through the building and Anya attempts to disarm the bomb herself after she sneaks into the room through the window that was left open. However, as she begins thinking about how on TV spies struggle between cutting the red and blue wires, Anya begins to freak out because it's in this moment right here that she realizes this is not a television television show. All the wires on here are black. There are no red and blue wires here. And even worse, she doesn't have any scissors to cut the wires and she knows that 
Lloyd is closing in on the hideout, and if he opens up the door, Lloyd will die along with hundreds of innocent people who will be caught into the explosion. So what exactly does Anya do here? How can she change the future? Well, this is where the humor comes into play. So she goes into the refrigerator. She grabs a bottle of ketchup. She grabs a box to stand on top of because, you know, Anya's pretty damn small. And she writes the word no on the door. And she draws a very badly drawn bomb complete with a horribly drawn explosion and an arrow that's pointing towards the doorknob. Lloyd can't fully interpret the message, but he has enough instincts to stop the other agent from opening up the door, and Lloyd goes in through the same window that Anya did, but while his life might have been saved, things get even dicier because the state security has shown up, and Lloyd has to run away to avoid being caught, and he has to leave disarming the bomb, to the state security officers. Due to Anya saving Lloyd's life, she also ends up playing a role in saving the entire country from war. Lloyd is able to directly engage the terrorist leader in a mad scene that involves a car chase where Lloyd is undercover. It's complete with gunfire and wacky expressions and even better, when Lloyd finally gets out the car, he's able to take down the dog that has the explosives tied to his body, all without killing the dog, because, you know, over here, we dog lovers, and so is Lloyd Forger, and he does this by shooting off the bomb, and he throws it into the river, we're exposed without killing anybody, and Lloyd even sacrifices getting his arm ripped into by the dog, and in typical Lloyd fashion, he does it so smooth, he just swings the dog into a nearby garbage can, and throws the lid down on top of him and says that he's sorry for the accommodations for the dog and Lloyd refers to the arm injuries he has as being a small price to pay for preventing a revolution when the leader tries to drive off he ends up with the worst luck of all he runs into a very frantic your forger who is desperate to find Anya and it's in this moment we see how freakishly strong your actually is because your not only jumps off the bridge and despite landing in front of a speeding car that the terrorist leader is driving, Yor kicks the car hard enough that she sends the car flying off of the road and into a telephone pole, which is scary impressive when you consider that a mid-sized car typically weighs 3,300 pounds, and this car was traveling at high speeds, which means that Yor kicked away a speeding car with enough force to match several tons of force, which for reference, a car moving at only 18 miles per hour with a collision distance of 4 centimeters has the impact force of 6 tons if you use the G-force calculator, which should make yours kick seem a lot deadlier now that you know this, which also explains why Lloyd was knocked out for several hours after Yor landed a kick on him when they got into their fight, when Yor was drunk, when they went to the bar to speak to each other. So what do you guys think about the moment where Anya prevented Lloyd's death and how one act by Anya changed the entire future for a whole country? Between Anya and Yor, who would be most impacted by Lloyd's death? While you think that over, consider watching these other videos you see on the screen right now.